In this video, I show Big D a common question I have gotten over the years about the domino, and I'm gonna show him a new skill to utilize with the domino. <laughs> All right, Sedge, what are we working on here? Okay, so this video is gonna contain a very common question that somebody, uh, one of our subscribers on Sedge Tool reached out to me, so I started looking through, she wanted a link to this topic or this skill. And I said, yeah, 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 I've covered that a hundred times. I went and looked at our playlist on the Domino on, our, on the Sedge Tool YouTube channel, and I hadn't done this yet. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this is an extremely common question. And way back when, in 2007, it's one of the first things I saw to utilize the Domino for. Sweet. So we're gonna go over that today. You'll get a new skill. Woo! Okay, so I milled some lumber, and yep. I got four legs and four apron skirts. We're not gonna do all of them. I just wanna cover uh, what is known as creating a reveal or an offset. Okay. <clears throat> In other words, give me a camera, man. This is our table leg, right? Okay, hold that big D. Yep. Okay, and this is our apron skirt. What we wanna do, we don't wanna put it flush. I mean, there's some designs that want it flush. I don't wanna do that. What I wanna do is take it and what we call create a reveal or an offset. Okay. And you can do this in a variety of applications. I just wanted to do this with a table leg, but we, we do it when we do face frame joinery, uh, putting the cabinet sides to the face frame yep. with the domino. That way there we create what is known as a scribing error. So there's tons of applications on creating an offset but I wanna create a 10 millimeter offset from the table leg to the apron skirt. And it's as simple as utilizing this. That's what we call the gauge block. Let's do it. Okay, so this is 25 millimeter thick lumber uh, for the apron skirt. I'm not gonna go exactly in the middle. I don't have to. Um, I have the walnut here. I'm gonna bring it in. I wanna create that offset, so I wanna keep it easy for me. So what I'm gonna do is that we're gonna use six by 40 dominoes. What's half of 40? That's 20. Okay, so I'm gonna set it just like that. My plunge depth is gonna be 20. So I'm gonna label this. All right, plunge depth equals 20. Now I'm gonna set my plate height for this. Okay. I'm gonna take it like this and my plate height, and I'm gonna use the gauge block. Okay, so t when I put 20 in there, I'm assuming that that's the thickness of my material. Okay, always remember that. What goes in the window is the thickness of your material. Okay. Okay, and that'll allow us when we do the leg portion to offset it by using this. And we'll get into that in a few minutes. All right. So this is gonna be, I always label, this is the top of my board or my apron. Okay, and it's gonna go into the leg here. My plate height, we set to what? 20. 20, okay, good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come from the top 20 millimeters. And when I measure this, I'm just gonna come in here like this. All right, and I wanna put another domino in there. So I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna look right here. I'm gonna put 50, at 55. I'm just gonna create a line because we're gonna use our eye for this. All right. With this, to get 20, we're gonna utilize the support bracket. And we're gonna bring this out. This registers against the flap of the domino, and that'll be 20 to the center as we do this. So let's put the bracket on and get going. Sounds good. So quick note, as I go through this, we'll label everything, okay? I did another 55 from the top, and this is 20. We're gonna use our eye for this. So we'll label the rest. Okay. So Big D, the reason I bought my first Pika in 2007 over in Germany was because of this. And, and I saw it right away in the home center. I said, you know what? I love that, that it points easy enough, but I wanted yellow for what? For laying out walnut. And that's a yellow crayon. In other words, we can see it a lot better. And cool. That, like every Pika, you just tip it like this and you're good to go. Cool, and cool. The, it'll make the layout really easy for us. Okay, so let's look at this. 
and we'll lay out all the legs real quick so you can see it. Okay, so you'll understand this in a few minutes. Our plate height is gonna be 40 in the window. Chris, get over here. When we put, take the 40, we'll put it in the window. I'll explain it, we'll go through the math. Okay. It's a quick way to do an offset on the machine. Okay, our plunge depth, yes, we have it set at 20, but I always do that. We're gonna measure down here to what? That secondary line. Okay, at 55, we'll bring it over here. Okay, just like that. And of course, we're gonna do 20 here. Okay. Now, the other thing I'm gonna do is when we do this, I, with our layout, I know that's where this is going to come into play, right? Yeah. With that offset. That's good. good. Now, here's another trick I learned over the years. I laid this, I laid this out just right. Guess what? I wanna lay this one out just right. I wanna lay this one out just right. I love these new stops because I can register the bottom back here and back here. And what's really nice about this, we can take this like this and draw the line right across at that 55. <laughs> you do it all at once. That's awesome. Once again, we always mark it plate height, 40, plunge, depth, 20. And once you label it, you know you're good to go mm -hmm. and we can knock everything out. And I'll just put here plate height. And look, I'm gonna lay it out just like that. I know that's where my sh machine's gonna go. 20, 20, 20, 40, 40, plate height. All right, Sedge, what's next? Okay, so check it out. I'm gonna go over the machine before, I'll, before we go through this. I'm gonna do one side and then I'll coach you on this one. Okay. Okay, we got everything laid out. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna think, okay, plate height is 20. So always remember, that is times two. Follow me? That's the thickness of the material. Yep. It's not the distance. So we're gonna reference off this face 10 millimeters. Okay. Always remember that, divide by two. You'll understand in a few minutes. We're gonna do tight with the 20, and I'm gonna use my eye on this. I'll have you do it. We'll line it up with the cursor, and we'll do tight and tight on all of these. Okay. Okay. Um, double check my plunge depth at 20, and I this morning I checked, <clears throat> on the uh, machine and I got a six millimeter cut in That's there. important. That's very important. <laughs> so I'll do this one and then you do the next one. Sounds good. Now, really quick, I get the flap down, so I'm gonna reference 20 from the top. Okay. Then I'm gonna eyeball this one. All right. Okay, let's do it. <clears throat> very important. That gets in the way now that I'm going to be eyeballing that. Okay. So what I want to do is flip that down. Now, oh, you know what I just thought of? Just maybe that'll work. Nope. <laughs> I'm going to use the line. Okay. We got close. We got close. So there's a way to reference this. It's pretty easy. You can look at the top of the triangle and bring your cursor in there like that. And if, you, if you're good with your eye, it just lines up sweet. Look at my fingers are holding it down. And it literally is that easy. I got enough shoulder there and it makes my math easy when I do the offset. Tell you what so, though, that's probably about the best mortise I've ever seen. I know. Very <laughs> good? Yep, good. Always stop that machine because when you move the flap back, that cutter is right there going yeah. like that. Okay. And then on this side, we just reference through the window. Or yes, sir. This right one. through the center window. Yep. Okay. Bring it right in. Cool. Let's get some dominoes in there. Yep. Man, that's a sweet. When I was hand cutting, I would kill for that. <laughs> Hey, we did, we did use tight, so. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Well, alrighty then. Okay, so here's where, over the years, people have got confused when I've taught people this. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to set our plate height at 40. So, I'm going to release this, and I'm going to put in the window 40. I want a 10 millimeter offset. So subtract 
20 from 40. 20. Divide by two because 10. that's the thickness. Do you get it? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this at 40 and you'll see we gain a 10 millimeter offset that way. I'm excited to learn that. Okay, it takes a little bit to wrap your head around, but how quick was that? Instead of doing a bunch of other layout and doing an offset down here and eyeballing it, it's, it's that quick for offsets. So I'll do one, you do one? Sounds good. Perfect. Somebody may ask, why do we have it clamped like this? And the reason is this. The support bracket holds us up. Ah, uh, okay. So you gotta work off the table. So I'm gonna do a 20 and I'll do the 55. So the second one, down here, I'm gonna give it a little wiggle room for assembly. We have sheer strength here on the first one. Okay. We'll get killer glue line here, but I wanna give a little wiggle room. We did both of these tight. We'll give this some space. Now, I'm gonna have you do one. But remember to switch back to tight for that first one. Mm -hmm. This needs to be running. That's yours. <laughs> That's mine. Okay, so let's do this. Go ahead and unlock that. It always, always, always amazes me when you fit this together, how it always comes into play. And when you get that in there, Big D, you gotta turn it around so everybody can see this in the video. Look at that offset. Beauty. 10 millimeters on each side. Let's get a measurement in there real quick. And you can see it's exactly that 10 millimeter offset. Beauty. That's beautiful. So big day, it looks like you got a new skill in your quiver. Hey, special thanks to you. You bet, thank you. And um, for that person who reached out, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, really appreciate the question because it really made me think about our channel and there's so much more to teach about this domino machine. So as we always say, be positive and stay sharp, wicked, wicked sharp. sharp.